What up? What up, guys? What up, everybody? Let's get inside. It's currently 41 degrees here in Alice Springs. So, uh, my house is nice and cool, which is a good thing. It's quite dark in here, actually, so we'll get some light. And we are back exactly one week after my last uh, Return of Aesthetics episode. Now, first of all, I will say that the whiteboard hasn't been used, but as of tonight, it will be getting used again. So all I've had is that first weigh-in um, that I did on the 7th of February, which was last Sunday. Today is the 14th of February, Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, so happy Valentine's to any girls that are watching, which I assume is next to none. Uh, but uh, I'm single, and my Valentine's Day is just going to be treated like any other day. I mean, come on guys, it's just a gimmick for people to spend money. But in saying that, if I did have a girlfriend that I love very much, today would be a very important day. But I don't. So let's carry on. Um, it's been a week since my last weigh-in. My first weigh-in with you guys was 92 0.55 kilograms, which worked out to be 204 pounds. Um, so, I will run through my week's worth of macros, week's worth of calories, etc, etc, at the end of the video. I've just come home for lunch, um, so what I'm going to do is quickly weigh myself. I haven't eaten anything today. Uh, just like last Sunday, I actually ate quite a bit last night, um, being Saturday. Didn't drink. I don't really drink too much at all, but I do tend to sort of gorge myself a little bit on Saturdays, um, which I did, so what's the time? It is 12.42 on Sunday the 14th of February, so haven't eaten anything, I've been fasting today, the last time I ate something was probably about 10 o'clock last night, so I've been fasting for 15 hours, which is not a problem for me, it really isn't, um, but what I will say about intermittent fasting is that I only use it to reduce the overall amount of calories that I have per day. You know what I mean? So like as far as any other health benefits or raising your GH production by a thousand percent, which I've even heard, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. Things like 24 hour fasts, which I have experimented with in the past is just too long for me. It really is. So, you know, any sort of intermittent fasting that I am going to use, I'll just use on a daily basis, basically just pushing, pushing my first meal that I have out as far as I can um, until I get really hungry or until I need to go and work out. Um, depending on what time that is, I'll make sure I eat something beforehand. Unless I'm working out first thing in the morning, which I can still do fasted because I feel like I've got quite a bit of energy. Although the pump still isn't there. So, so best case scenario, Eat a good meal before you train, carbs and protein, a little bit of fat, and um, it'll put you in the best position to get the most out of your workout. And before I talk any more shit, it's been a week since my last weigh-in, and we're going to do another one today, so let's do that. Um... Should be pretty accurate, you know. As I said, I haven't eaten anything today. I've just probably had about a liter, liter and a half full of liquid. And we're sitting at 90.4. So I would say that is a two kilogram loss. You know, who knows whether that's fat or water or what. There's definitely some fat loss because I've stuck to my diet. And when you stick to a diet, when you know you've got the right macro, macro set, the right amount of calories, um, there's no way you're not going to progress. And that is why I had to start tracking my fitness pal last week. Otherwise, all my results would be guess, uh, guesswork. And when you're, when you're trying to dial in for a show, there's, there's no room for guesswork. There really isn't. So, yeah, that's my way in. Um, now, I will show you guys what I'm going to take to work today. Take back to work. So this morning, every morning, it's just one scoop of Oxy Shred. Um, my tolerance certainly has uh, 
gone up a little bit. So, you know, if I really wanted a good buzz or whatever, I'd probably be having one and a half scoops or two scoops, but that's just, it's too much. The amount of caffeine that I'm having each day with, you know, in the morning, maybe a coffee in, during the day, and then also another scoop of that uh, pre-workout at night, um, you know, I'm getting up to half a gram of caffeine, if not more, per day. And, um, you know, I think that that is probably maintainable, but anything above that is just too much. It's just getting ridiculous. So, fuck that. I'm not going to be having that. Um, but what I will take back to work is nothing in there. So I've got these core nutrition meals, which are fucking fantastic, man. This is actually my favorite one at the moment. Holy meatballs. House-made lean meatballs with whole grain pasta. 28 grams of carbs, 62 grams of protein, and 7 grams of fat. So you can't go wrong with that. I'll take that one, and I've got another 5 hour shift um, after lunch, so I'm going to take 2, and have one pretty much when I first get back, and then have another one as a pre-workout meal. Um, this one, old school, one of, my, one of my favorites. Portuguese chicken breast with sweet potato mash. 17 grams of carbs, 48 grams of protein, uh, 4 grams of fat. So, I mean, they cost, you know, 10 bucks each. So you're looking at $20 right there. Which, obviously, for some people, it's going to be too much. I mean, I'm 25. I've got a decent sort of an income. Um, so I, I can justify eating two of those a day. Any more than two is just way too much, too expensive. So, um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to take back to work. It makes it so easy. You know, I do have tins of tuna here. I've got, I've got, you know, um, rice, oats, things like that. Things that take a little bit more time. Well, actually, tuna and fucking rice in the packet is so easy. It's chuck the rice in the microwave for two minutes. You chuck, you open up the tuna, drain it out a little bit, and then you've got an awesome meal right there. So, but tuna and rice, tuna and rice gets pretty boring. And I'll tell you what, one thing about these is that they never get boring. They're always fucking nice, and that's why I've been able to stick to my diet. These are a big big part of why I've been able to stick to my diet, because it's like, it's basically, it takes all the guesswork out of my work day. I come home after work, and that's when I have to try and, you know, make up my diet to try and fit the rest of my macros. But as far as throughout the day, it's basically Oxy Shred and two of these meals, and that's me. So. I know I've been fucking talking for ages and I've got to get my shit together, go back to work, but we've got a leg day tonight. And uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you guys after work and uh, we'll just run through my leg day. And I might get a little bit of footage as well. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'll get a little bit of a physique update right now too. So just thinking what's the best. I might not look so wa washed out like I did last time, but uh, let's see, put it up here. Don't fall off. Hours not ready to fall in like I'm wasted.
that's me. Obviously 90.5 kilograms, which is probably getting down around the 200 pound mark at the moment. And, oh look, I got a happy Valentine's Day. Not gonna show you who it's from. Oh, that's one. <laughs> Let's see how well I do in the rest of the day. All right, so I'm gonna pick up my dignity, as in my clothing, get my shit ready for work, and then I'll head back, and I'll talk to you guys after my shift at around about six o'clock tonight. Peace.